Welcome back, everybody. 12 minutes to 8 here on the program. Great to have you with us here. So for all you cyber geeks, this weekend, starting today, MTN and multiple ICT partners will host the African edition of Tad Hack, themed Decoding Africa, Solving African Problems. 64 top developers have registered to participate in this year's challenge and will put their talents against the best developers in 30 countries around the world. Uh, to decode this all for us, because I think I need a lot of decoding at this point, we're joined in studio by MTN Chief Information Officer Benjamin Murray. We're hoping to get one of the participants up and uh, joining us live from Zambia, Daryl Lucas. We'll let you know when that's ready and when we can actually say good morning to him as well. But uh, it's so good to have you in studio, Benjamin. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Please tell me a little bit more about this. What exactly is TAD Hack? Well, it's uh, the classic hackathons that you get uh, where developers get together and solve problems. Uh, what makes this one unique is that TAD Hack is a global organization that started in around 2013, and they bring all the developers around the world together to solve problems in the telecoms industry. And it's the first time that it has been hosted in South Africa this year, or and even Africa. Yeah. And uh, we're bringing the developers together to say, let's solve some problems in Africa by Africans using our smart developers in this country. Okay. I believe Daryl is up. He's, uh, he's on Skype at the moment. So let's say hi to, to Daryl. Daryl, good morning to you. Good morning, how are you? Good. It's so lovely to have you on the program. How's it going in Zambia? It's, it's, go, it's going okay. It's, um, it's a beautiful day and uh, we're looking forward to the time like this weekend. Excellent. All right. So uh, tell me, what have you done so far? I mean, has it started? Have you, have you begun the, uh, the, the, the competition? Have you, has it started as yet? Um, not yet. Uh, registration is later today and the actual competition starts tomorrow. So the actual competition starts tomorrow. I'm going to ask you in a second what you actually did to get there. But from, from just again, from an information point of view, and Benjamin, this is where I bring you in, uh, programs from all over the world basically competing for, uh, for this to create hacks in what you call bots, AI, IoT, enterprise communications, NFV. Please help me. What are all of these? Those are just fancy acronyms in the industry. Really what it comes down is, is we've got uh, about 100 developers actually registered in South Africa. There's 2,000. 200 registered currently to participate globally in the two, um, 30 countries and it's looking at problems that say you want to add, uh, develop an application on your phone or develop some software to solve a problem it could be anything from transportation or how to help to your friends to communicate to each other etc etc so you're really bringing these developers together put them in a room provide them with some uh, coffee and, uh, and pizzas and they come up with solutions for us and then share that with the counterparts across the different countries okay so Dal, what is it that you did? I mean, what, what, how did you get chosen to participate? Um, I think I just applied like everyone else. Um, I had um, an idea I shared with as part of the application process, and um, I got accepted. Okay, I, I'm, I'm struggling to hear you, Daryl. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping viewers are able to hear what you're saying. I'm just having a, a little bit of a problem uh, gathering what it is exactly um, Daryl did. Benjamin, are you aware of, of Daryl's story? Um, well, it would be similar to ours. I mean, how it really worked is that uh, Tada contacted us as, uh, by the beginning of the year and yeah. said we're looking for places in um, Africa to participate because Africa hasn't participated before. And then through communication and in just discussions, we said, well, like, uh, let's set it up. So, I mean, it's a bit of a collaboration between us and TADAC itself, which is the organization for, for this event. And, yeah. and then it is this weekend. So what uh, Dara was saying is the registration is happening today. We're going to let the developers hack on Saturday and Sunday. And then Sunday, there's some prices to be given away and sharing of the ideas across the different countries. I believe that there's also um, there's an opportunity for some of the developers to sell their innovations as well. So, I mean, this is a, this is a really great opportunity. Yeah, I mean, the exposure is actually really great, you're right, because over the weekend and during the prize giving and, and, and judging, all this will be streamed online. People can actually participate by logging on and look at this, and you get exposed to not just South African uh, businesses then, but also Africa and other parts of the world. Uh, TADEC itself has offered, for example, a $1,000 prize money per country, so it is really good. It's really amazing. It's helping us to solve, as I said, the problems in our country, even in the ICT and telecom space, and it creates just a great environment to showcase what we can do. Now, there are other countries that are participating at the same time, which I know you've alluded to. Which other countries are simultaneously hosting this? Well, it's all the way from the east to the, so to the all west. Over the all world, over the world. At the same time. At the same time, from Japan to London to America. 
Russia, everywhere in the world. I mean, people can go to tadhack.com actually and they can check it out. And as I said, uh, the, uh, during the, day, um, the two days they will stream the events. Some of the, these will be talks be uploaded. Uh, I saw that Michael, uh, Mike Suttleworth will be the opening speech. Wow. So it's really in integrated uh, space for people to share and, and, and for others to connect and see what's going on. That's going to be absolutely amazing. And especially for these youngsters. Unfortunately, Daryl, we've, we've lost him over Skype. Yeah, technological advances. Can you help us out here? <laughs> <laughs> I think we need. I think it's one of the things maybe we can solve. I the think weekend. we need to solve it this weekend. We really do. As much as I love Skype, losing connectivity is never. It's never fun at all. Um, the South African participants. How many have we got there that are participating? Yeah, we're actually um, on the, at 100 at the moment. And the only okay. reason it's 100 is we had limited space at the Innovation Centre at M10 where we're hosting this. And other thing that's uh, for me amazing is that if you look at the global events, about 2,200. So about five percent of that is South Africans. And then if you add the Zambia guys to it could almost be 10 percent so we're well represented already and uh, yeah it's going to be great i mean we're looking forward to it it's, a, it's exciting i really do so if you're interested <coughs> and you want to watch more or watch it actually it's going to be online which is a good thing yep and it's tadhack.com uh, so it's, it's www.tadhack.com yes and you could also go to mtn.io forward slash tad stream and then we'll be streaming it but you can go either to tadhack.com or mtn.io forward slash tad stream. Fantastic. And then people can actually live check what's going on. That sounds absolutely amazing. So jump onto the website, the event taking place at the MTN Innovation Center. Uh, that's in 14th Avenue here in Johannesburg in, uh, in the Fairlands area. And uh, it'll be from the 14th to the 16th of October. Such a pleasure having you here in studio with Thank us. You. Thank you for explaining what this is all about to us. Benjamin Murray is the Chief Information Officer from MTN. And unfortunately, Daryl Lucas, who we lost there, uh, he was talking to us via Zambia. He was on Skype and he's one of the participants and uh, he's also going to be uh, showcasing some of his innovations and uh, some of these innovations are actually up for grabs as well. So if uh, people are watching and they like what they see, they're able to take it with them and uh, you never know, you might just get the next millionaire, the next Mark Shuttleworth may come from this particular event. So there you have it. Thank you so very, very much. All right. It is uh, just a couple of minutes before 8.